Okay, starting things off on Smashville for game number one. Sir BBL charged up, ready to go. Grim, of course, looking for that banana as soon as he gets an opportunity. Sir BB's kind of on top of him, making it unsafe because of little combos like that. All right, Mewtwo now has his banana until that hits. Okay, that shield takes a ton of damage, but it won't break. Just yet. Grim just getting lots of little hits here and there. No real combos happening as of yet, but pokes here, pokes there, throws here, bananas and peanuts. That's basically the game for Chris right now. He's like, I know Mewtwo probably won't mind a little bit of rage being so light. It's gonna make things a little scary. Now that was pretty sick, using the confusion to get another fair out of the deal. Okay, down tilt back air is going to seal the deal for this stock. So all that rage I was talking about is all gone now. Now Sir BB's got to regroup, reset, and try to figure this matchup out. Because right now he's getting comboed. From 0 to 44 in about like 5 seconds. Double down tilt, tried to get the forward air out of the deal, gets it that time by. Chris about to go for a lapping, there's the lap. Yeah, Sir Babies is trying to find a spot to land at this point. Really having a hard time getting his footing and getting anything started here. All right, nice air dodge, but that was a bit of a greedy up smash. Gonna get grabbed for it. Shadow Ball's only gonna hit shield. Yeah, so BB's just having a hard time right now. And sealing the deal, it's Krim with the two stock. No mistake there. Yeah, hopefully Forrester BB can just regroup and try to figure, like I said before, figure this thing out. Because he looked clueless that match. An issue with one of the headsets. Let's take a look. Yeah, these guys are actually using each other's headsets, so he is pushing on the wrong dial. Makes sense. Going to battlefield for game number two. See if he can survive a little bit longer. And off we go. Swap this around, and we are ready for Crimfish and Sir BB round two. Crim once again just going right in with these combos. All right, looks like I'm gonna get some commentary back up. And we're live. What game two. I'm Zhao Guang with the great. I'm here with the great uh, Tan Taco. Yeah. And that was a clean first stock by EGE's own Krim Foish. Yeah. 
I, I've seen uh, Sir BB try to deal with these bananas by like using them himself. Yeah. You know, he, he just needs to find like better opportunities to like optimize off of like the banana throw. I can agree with that. Sir BB has been having a great day today. He's been playing phenomenally. Yeah. Uh, but Diddy's tricky, and especially a Diddy that's of the caliber of Mr. Krim Forish. Okay. Interesting and off. Caught him sitting in shield there for a yeah. minute. It, it does have high knockback. Hmm. If the barrel does come around, you know. Right. And especially with Mewtwo at that percent, it would Ooh, definitely. Hit, hit him with the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> oh? Yeah. Chris also hitting him with the nut? Yeah, a nut right back. <laughs> oh, sure, bud. Yeah. Nice. And Chris just in total oh. control right now. Sir BB can't really get anything going. Ooh, oh, that'll do. The mix up. And a good finish by Crimforge is playing wow. phenomenally today. I know he uh, did very well in pools. Yeah. But we'll see how Sir BB can uh, run it all the way back. Because I yeah. think today it might be his day. Yeah, it could be. So I don't know how recently, but he did switch to Mewtwo. Uh, I think he used to be uh, Dr. Mario. That's so, yeah. But this Mewtwo is looking really good. I like it. Yeah. I mean, what's the what's that really good guy? Abadongo? I I think I've heard of him. I think he is 